Hello everyone, I'm trying something different today. I'm going to be trying some pouring acrylic paint to see how that works uh, compared to the resin. Um, I've also got some silicon oil that you mix into the actual paints to actually get some nice cells. So here we go, let's check it out. Let's see how they work. Now the colors that I'm using is I've got a nice dark aqua color. I've also got a nice light aqua color. I've got some gold and I've also got a nice pink. I thought they were a really nice combination. Best thing about those is they come pre-mixed so you don't have to worry about it. I'm going to do what's known as a dirty pour which means all the colors go into this cup then I'm going to pour it on. I've got my gloves on ready to go um, and therefore let's see how it works. Okay Let's start with, uh, let's start with, let's start with the darker colour. So let's pour that in. Just giving that a little bit of a mix up. Make sure that the colour's all fully mixed. That's a beautiful colour actually. Then I'm going to give these ones a bit of a mix up before I pour them just to make sure that the, uh, the two parts are fully mixed. And then we're going to go a little bit of that one, pour that in, like so. I've got a canvas obviously ready to go. Then let's go some gold, give it a mix first. Go some gold, nice. Gold always looks nice with the blues I say. And then, our last one which is some pink so we'll mix that in and pour that in just like so all right now a little bit of our silicon that causes the selling and you'll see what I mean by that so we'll pour a little bit of that in like so I might just give it a bit of a stir. Just a brief stir. Not too much though, because I don't want my colours mixing in too much. And then, I'm going to pour it on. And with acrylic, it's quite thick, which is good. I probably should have added a little bit more colour. So what I'm going to do is, best thing about this is we can just whack a little bit more on. I just want to add a little bit more of that colour to it. Spread it out, moving it around, move it right to the edges. Like so, and we'll move it all the way over there. It is actually creating some really, really lovely colors. I probably should have added a little bit more paint. So something of that size, you probably find that you probably could use the whole of the paints so all of the consistency in the paint otherwise I don't think it's going to cover the canvas so let's just mix a little bit more a little bit more oil in it let's go a little bit more and then what I'm going to do is pour it on. Ah, that's better. Ah, that's better, isn't it? Get it right over to the edges. Still got a bit more, so I may as well use it all up the little packs only cost about I think it was like $15 or something like that so 
they're cheap enough if you need to. Oh, oh. They're cheap enough to actually play with. I just added a little bit of silicon there just on its own just to see what happens. May as well see what it can do. I'm loving that pink. Looks really nice. And I added just a bit of see-through there just to see how that would react. You could get, do some really nice techniques with that. What we could do. Run some lovely lines through it. Maybe even some gold too. Which looks lovely. Move that around. Now it's going to run off the corners, so hence why we've got to make sure that we're wearing gloves. Remembering too that this parent pouring medium, it's solely acrylic paint, so, and it's water based, so it doesn't smell at all, which is great. The difference between using resin. To this type of medium. I'm going to fill in these gaps. I'm also going to use a little bit of gold again. Make a mess. That's what it's all about when you create, isn't it? And even what you can do is just move your fingers. You can actually just top up the corners. That's actually a little bit of silicon there, so that's why it's actually not mixing, but I can actually run it so it runs off the canvas. That was straight silicon there, so that's why it didn't actually cover. I've got a lot of silicon this way also, which is lovely because you have a look. So I'm just going to run those lines a little bit so just so they get a little bit more streakier just to give them a little bit more effect just like so and then let me pop my piece of artwork down just so you can see it now my hands are getting very dirty so I'm just going to take off my gloves if I can without making too much of a mess Now, I love this colour. So I'm going to put a little bit more of that in. I'm loving that. And I'm going to add a little bit more of this colour along the bottom too. Just to cover where that silicon spills. And then I'm just going to pop on another pair of gloves so I don't have to worry about having dirty hands, of course. Because when it dries, it's really super hard to get off. So I'm just going to quickly do that. All right, let's just, I just want to just cover that bottom bit a little bit. silicon does it's like a resistant so basically what happens is if you've got too much silicon like I have done down the bottom there you'll see how it's pulled away from the canvas um, the best thing about that is you can achieve some really 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 nice effects by doing that 
Um, so let's say if you wanted, uh, so it looked almost like, you know, you've got a, a, um, a landscape. So you've got the landscape there and maybe the sky or that type of thing. You could actually work that in and use that technique so it works for you, not against you. So that's also a really, really super way of adding something different to what you normally see. Remembering too, I'm just gonna take my gloves off again because they're dirty again. I've got a whole heap of dirty gloves over here. Um, you know, you can do things like add a bit of sparkle. Let's whack a little bit of that on. You know, you can use lots of different things if you want to. And remember, I've still got a little bit of those paints left that I can fill in the gaps if I want to, to make almost like a bit of a landscapey type thing, which looks really, really super cool. And then of course, with a knife or something, I can move that around if I want to. Just to add, just to control, I suppose, the resin or, sorry, I shouldn't say resin, the pouring medium, just that little bit more, just to cover those canvas spots. And then we have it. And in a frame, that'll look beautiful. All I've got to do is I've got to wait for that to dry. What actually happens is when it's drying, don't worry about the edges here because in a frame that will be covered. So you're basically just looking at something like that. Obviously when it's dry, it's not gonna be running. But you can see up here how those beautiful effects have started to run because I've run that way. So if you want sort of that landscapey, you can move your canvases that way and that way. So side to side. Or if you want to run your canvases, so basically you're just manipulating it with movement through gravity. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for that to dry, even though the best thing about this type of work is it doesn't look much when you first do it, but once it's framed and you've got it up on the wall, you'll be surprised at how much different it looks. So don't be disheartened if you feel as if it just looks a bit messy. It will move around a bit because it is such a thick medium, so it will take a couple of days to dry. It will move around a bit and then from there, so it will sort of do its own thing. So when it's dry, it'll just look beautiful. What I'll do is my next video, I'll actually have that in its frame and I'll show you the finished product so you can see. So don't forget, these little guys, little Montmartre paints are super good for just something to play with or if you need to spruce up the um spruce up the spruce up a room if you're redecorating okay thank you so much um i will be popping up my uh facebook page too so if anyone wants any products or wants to know where to get the products i do have a website um and i also have a facebook page which i'll pop up so you're welcome to follow me there i always have classes and things happening there too so um lots of different artwork available there that you can have a look at too so thank you so much and i uh i'll be around soon with um more artwork thank you see ya happy creating bye